You should start your career in construction. So we've talked about pros of construction. We've talked about cons of construction. But what if you're trying to decide in your career, you're just starting out? So maybe you're an engineering student that's ready to graduate, or maybe you're just some other person out there that just wants to see what the construction industry is all about. I just think that it's very tough for you to go wrong if your first job is in the construction industry. And so that's what we're gonna talk about today, my top five reasons of why you should start your career in construction. But before we get started, we need to do the ultimate construction of building upon like after like after like by just smashing that like button until it just gets overly blue. And once we've built upon all those likes, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more videos from me. We are so close to 10,000 subscribers and I thank each and every one of you out there. And with that being said, let's get into the video. So reason number one, when you start your career in construction, you start in a high stress and long hour environment. Um, sir, why in the world would I ever want to do that? Oh ho ho, let me tell you. So number one, when you're in this environment, you won't be bored. There has never once been a time when I looked at the clock to see what time it was. It is so rare for anyone to be completely bored if they're in this industry. There's so much going on, every single day is different. There's always new challenges, new obstacles. It's a very exciting environment to be in. I mean, I wouldn't want my first job out of college to be the most boring thing ever where I hate going into work. And because there's so much action going on, you get to learn how to handle pressure. And to me, being able to handle pressure is one of the great qualities of just being a human being. There is no experience like being in construction where you're standing there as the brand new engineer and you've got three different subcontractors and your boss asking you what the answer is. Have you talked to the architect yet? What did they say? Why is it taking so long? So when you start off in construction, you get to learn how to handle these different situations. You have to learn how to prioritize all the different fire drills out there. And it just helps you overall at being better at managing your stress level. Because as they say, practice makes perfect. And you definitely get to practice handling stress when you're in construction. And then just working hard. Construction demands a lot of hours. You're gonna have to put in the time to do your job well. So when you start in construction, even when you don't finish, because you're spending a decent amount of time at work, maybe if you leave and go to another job where you work maybe your eight hours, you'll appreciate your time more. I know for sure when I'm on jobs where I don't have to work as much, I definitely try to use that free time to my advantage. So kind of my thought process with this first point is that you're going to be put in a pretty tough environment. And so maybe you really like this environment and you'll thrive in it and you'll stay in construction. And even if you don't want to be in this environment, at least you're going from like an extreme down to probably something that'll be more manageable and less extreme. And maybe that's just me, maybe that's just the way I'm wired, but I'd rather do something difficult first and then move on to something easier. So number two, you get to see how things are built. You'll be able to get some answers to probably some of your most burning questions. How do you make such a perfect corner on the wall? What is this thing called? Why can't this road work just finish already? Why haven't I hit the like button and subscribe to the channel yet? When you work in construction and you're part of that actual building process, you'll gain an appreciation for what goes into the whole work. It's a kind of very similar to when you work in a restaurant setting. For someone that hasn't been in a restaurant setting will look in a restaurant and see a bunch of open tables and say, why aren't you seating us? Why is there a wait? But those that are in the restaurant industry know that if you only have so many servers, you're only gonna seat so many people. So is it better to try to fill the whole restaurant and everybody has terrible service? Or are you gonna limit the amount of seating to the amount of servers that you actually have working on the floor? Kind of the same thing with construction. And for my engineers out there who are thinking about maybe doing design engineering or construction, if you start in construction, I can almost guarantee you that if you make that pivot to design, you're gonna be a way better designer than if you just worked in the design industry on itself. Because once you experience construction as a designer, you'll understand what pressure the contractor is under, what kind of questions they're gonna be asking. You'll understand what details you're gonna to need to draw in order for them to actually build the project. And you're gonna understand how to actually draw these details and set up these plans so that it's able to be easily built. Because at the end of the day, you're kind of a useless designer if whatever you draw can't actually be done. And that's why that knowledge that you have will be towards the end product. And that's what's so important to me about being in construction. All the planning up front, all the design, all the two dimensional drawings that you're doing, it's for nothing if the thing actually can't go out of the ground physically. So just being a part of that building process will give you so much great knowledge. And that ties in nicely with my third point. Being in construction gives you applicable knowledge that you can apply to your own home, especially if you're in the building industry. So say you wanna pour like a little sidewalk extension to the back of your house. 
So when you work in construction, you're gonna know who to go to, who are all the concrete suppliers, how many people will you need to do the job? How are you gonna get all your forms there? How are you gonna reinforce the slab? What tools do you need? What finish are you putting on the concrete slab? And how much is this thing gonna cost? These are all questions that can be easily answered by someone that works in construction. And if you're not gonna perform the work yourself and you're gonna to try to subcontract it out, you're gonna know all the right questions to ask. I mean, a lot of people will do renovations on their home and that's why this knowledge that you get from the construction industry when you start, and that's why even if you leave the construction industry, just that year or two that you're in the industry will give you just so much valuable knowledge about actually building things. So like say for example, you wanna redo your whole kitchen and you find out that your contractor that's doing your kitchen plans isn't asking what the size of your appliances are or he's not coordinating the countertop with his cabinet. And you'll know right off the bat that this guy's not gonna be any good for you. And that's why when you're a part of the construction industry or when you've been exposed to it, you'll be able to use that knowledge to make yourself more money. Whether it's through like real estate investing, renovations, flips, things like that. And if you're a pretty good engineer, the people that you'll meet that work in the field oftentimes may help you and help cut on costs when you try to do these renovations. So that's why even if you leave the industry, the knowledge that you gain, especially if you're doing like finishes or you're doing something that's very applicable to your own home, can really help you out. So number four, money. From what I can tell, construction engineers make pretty good money. Here in Hawaii, you're looking at probably a high 50s to possibly even like $90,000 salary, starting. But I will say this, this shouldn't be the only reason why you join construction. When you start off in your career making a decent amount of money, you can get a great head start into your financial future. And I'll probably start making a little bit more of these videos about money and finance and things like that. But the earlier years that you have when you start are great years for compound growth over time. The earlier you can start, the better. And you can use that extra money that you're saving to deposit $100 into Webull's platform by using my link below and getting two free stocks that could be worth up to $1,850. And because you already started and you got your first job in a relatively high paying sector of the industry, say if you want to go to design or somewhere else that's somewhat related to the industry, you'll have a higher salary that you can use to negotiate with. So hopefully you can get a higher salary than you would have had you stayed at the company for maybe that same amount of years. Just things for you to keep in mind. So number five, even if you hate construction, even if you just don't want anything to do with the industry anymore, you're gonna have a physical landmark of the work that you put in. Like I said, everyone in construction works hard. So when you work hard, there's always some sort of level of pride in all the work that you do. I know most people, even ones that have left the industry pretty bitter, they're still proud of the work that they've put in and construction gives you a physical landmark of all of that effort. Like I think it would be pretty cool if you could tell your children or your friends and family and just point to that project and say, hey, you know, I had a big part in this. Maybe I was the one that laid out the building or I was the one that helped determine that the concrete was supposed to be at this elevation. Every construction project comes with a story and that's something that'll always outlast to you. One of the few industries that have just physical reminders of the work that you've done. So those are my five reasons of why starting your career in construction can be so beneficial to you. So if you have any more thoughts on it, comments, you disagree with me, feel free to comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can join our growing family here on YouTube. And don't forget to get your two free stocks by using my link below by just depositing $100 on Webull's platform. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next video.